In the Introduction to Modern Electronics course, we briefly explored some of the finer details about transistors, like the two types of BJTs called NPN and PNP type transistors. In this lesson, we will take a look at how to build an amplifier using a BJT transistor. If you search the internet for transistor amplifier circuits, you'll come up with tons of different circuits. But the classic styles of transistor amplifier circuits look like these two circuits. The one on the left uses more resistors and therefore has more operational control, while the circuit on the right uses the bare minimum of components necessary and therefore lacks flexibility. Since in this course we're just trying to introduce concepts, we'll take a deeper look at the second amplifier circuit. In order to make a successful amplifier out of this circuit, we need to know our power, which is 9 volts, and then we need to make it such that the collector pin of the transistor will be half of that, or 4.5 volts. This is done by setting the two resistors, RB and RC, to specific values. For this case, we'll use 1 kiloohm and 100 kiloohm. And finally, we need to add capacitors on the input and the output of the circuit so that only the AC audio signal is input or output from the amplifier. So how does this amplifier work? Well, let's go through it step by step. First, we input some low voltage audio signal into the capacitor. As the low voltage signal goes through the capacitor, it is brought up to the DC voltage at the base pin. The signal tells the transistor to turn off and on as it oscillates, which creates an amplified output. Then the final capacitor brings that output back to AC by blocking the extra DC voltage. Now let's use this newfound knowledge to build a transistor that amplifies some sound input into it. To build this circuit, we'll need a breadboard, jumper wire kit, and from the analog parts kit, a 9 volt battery connector, an audio jack breakout board, a 2N3904 transistor, an LM348 quad op amp, three 1 kilo ohm resistors, three 10 kilo ohm resistors, three 10 nanofarad capacitors, a 100 kilo ohm resistor, and three one microfarad capacitor. For this experiment, the audio signal we're going to generate will come from what's called a sine and cosine wave generator. It's a little different than the circuit we've been using thus far for generating a tone. As with the other lessons, we'll show you the building process step by step. With the circuit built, let's test things out. First, we'll bypass the circuit to make sure the sine wave generator is outputting a tone that we can hear. And with that working, we'll remove the bypass and You can hear the amplified signal is a fair amount louder. Single transistor amplifiers are a rare thing to see in commercial electronics 
as most modern gadgets have everything jam-packed into an integrated circuit package. However, some remote control cars still use single transistor parts as part of their wireless receiving and amplifying circuit, as well as for motor control. All parts in this online course were provided by the Gadgetory. Visit them at gadgetory.com slash pyroedu. Next time, we'll take a look at how to create an amplifier using the op-amp. Trust me, it's really easy.